Game number two is over here on field one for Steve and Terry. Land of Lakes goes down again, this time 18 to two to Funiac Springs. I got it right this time. Two of the reasons, Macy Danley on my left, Jenna Adams on my right will go to Macy first. Three for five, scored three times, played shortstop. Tough game today or easy game? Easy game. Tell me a little bit about playing defense against Land O'Lakes. Um, you just got to watch the ball and wherever it goes. You got to pay attention. And Let me go to Jenna here. Jenna, you, score, you also went three for five, also scored two, three, uh, three times, played second base. You two were up the middle. Tell me about playing second base against Land O'Lakes. Um, I mean, they weren't really hitting anything super deep, so the main thing was just play your position and the ball was going to be there. Now let me ask you this, Land of Lakes lost the first game 16-6, to and then you scored 18 runs on them. Now you have to play Crystal River. Did you get to see Crystal River play at all? Uh, I saw a little bit of the game. Um, pitching's about the same. We just have to play good defense and hit the ball. Macy, what do you think? you got to come up with a team that scored 16 runs in the first game. Uh, what's your thoughts about playing them the second game? I think we got it. I mean, you can't really have a negative thought about it, so either way, we're good. Very confident, both t both ladies here, that they'll go into the second game with everybody going. Do we throw the same pitcher that we did the first game? I'm not sure. You don't, you don't know? No. Well, Land Lakes threw their pitcher for both games, so we'll see what will happen with the Foodniac Springs. Two ladies here helped their team win a big one this afternoon. They'll play game number two against Crystal River. For Mike Kerbin, Nissan Cadillac, I'm Orville Susong of the Friday Night Locker Room.